nice to meet you to this new episode of Wikipit. Ah, yeah, Sony. <laughs> Interesting, but um, very much dust on it. And so, Mr. Brush will take the rest here. Uh, I don't know what happened here. And this is the compact disc recorder RCD minus W100. And we will see. Cool. You can turn all both drives and press. <laughs> this is super. And um, we would like to see what's happened with it. And first of all, we connect it to the mains. Have a watch on it. What happened with it? Oh, TUC reading, TUC reading. No disk and no disk. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I must open it first. Uh, open close, here it is. We need. Uh -huh. We need a disc and insert this, closing it and TUC reading. Weak bit, wow! <laughs> it knows my CD, <laughs> very funny. And the sound comes out. Okay. This is super. Why all seat blues have not a VU meter? I don't understand this. Look at this VU meter. Is that not super? Or a CD player should be also at VU meter. Like a tape deck. So you can align the CD or the tape to the same as the CD and that will be perfect. Okay. Sounds not so bad. Take the CD out. Uh -huh. Open. Open and close. Open. Close and what's happened here? disc. <laughs> Very funny, no disc. No. Yeah, we must watch under the hood. So we are uh, putting this to the side and open the first screw and then the second it's, it's interesting. Uh, I have had a Sony recorder ago, maybe one year or so, and there was also a problem, but not with the recorder, it was a problem with the player on the right side. Maybe we have the same deck, because these I never can repair in case of the spare parts problem. And um, switching this off. Uh, for all the criers, they cry here. Yeah, you open up the, the machine with not putting out the mains, it's illegal. I know. <laughs> and uh, the thing was that uh, that I repaired that. I would like to repair that. I changed one IC, and uh, it doesn't doesn't run anymore. But I don't know why. This machine is a very rare machine. I don't see that often. You must understand, I don't see that often, and so it's not so. Oh, it's under the hood. 
Oops. Now we see a lot of things. <laughs> it's a computer drive also. Look. Oh, is that punched Ilko? No. Not punched, huh? Looks not punched. Uh, CD drive is normal and uh, the other drive is not normal. Huh? What is here? The schnappi and the schnappi. There are two schnappis and then we can have a watch under the hood or here we open this. Can we see the laser light maybe? I open this. Here, here we go, and can I see the laser light or not? Is that possible? Maybe it's possible. Mm. You see the big. Uh -huh. Open it. Oops. The laser is coming, I think. Yes. It's coming and not reading. <laughs> this is the same. This is the same problem like the other machine with this drive, with the left drive. <laughs> now it's on this side. I don't understand. I don't understand. Why? Yeah, laser point is coming, but no reading. <laughs> Disc. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Interest. No disc, but the disc is in. Uh, it's a little bit dirty. <laughs> no disc. So we look at this. Look. It's not going in start position. And it's going first in and then out. Hmm. And it's not going in start position. In case of that, here is not the TUC track. The TUC track is on this side. <laughs> Look, you can move it by hand here. Okay. It's going very soft. Mm -hmm. Did it have something to do with the motor? And if I put it in, like here, then it can read the TOC. No disc. Uh -huh. Interest. It cannot move with the head. This is the this is the thing. But why? Look. It's here. And it moves with no. Mm. This is interest. Mm. <laughs> First, I would like to. Uh, snap this on. This off. Snappy off, and then I close the tray. It's doing now what? Nothing. And I must um, I must build it out. In case of what? In case of that, that, uh, that uh, the drive have something to do with the it have something to do with the non-moving head non-moving it doesn't move and I'm, I'm requesting why it moves very light but it doesn't move 
from itself. This is the this is one of the questions why it doesn't move. Mm -hmm. oh, I see here. Oh, it's the switch is going in front of. Mm -hmm. Okay. Disconnecting this. I put this out. Uh huh. <laughs> All is encapsulated, however, uh, this is uh, for the electrical field distortion. And I think um, we must uh, check it up what happens with it. And uh, the first, what I'm gonna do is I open this tray from both sides. In case of what? In case of that, maybe this is uh, inside a cold soldering joint or. Um, can be a cable that is not connected because the motor don't move so the motor don't move hmm. <laughs> what can that be motor don't move means amplifier is defect <laughs> okay oh I see one thing here here is a cut in the cable you see that look it's a hard cut in the cable. Maybe this is interrupted, this cable. Yeah, brutally cut. Brutal cut. And so it can be that this LM line motor not move. Uh -huh. And here you have here the BA5937 FB. This could be also that it doesn't work. <laughs> Don't move with the motor head. This is uh, interesting. And uh, open the slot. It's very easy to deinstall. And snap, snap, and close. But this is interest. Why is this not running? And why is this not? Uh, yeah. Can I check this up? This motor, because there is no no command or no thing. But I have the same drive. I think so. I have the same drive outside in the other machine, and I would like to pick it up. I connected now to the. I connected now to the. Okay, it returns with nothing. And uh, the interesting thing is that I can now measure here. If the motor is going with this IC, and the motor is here, this is the LM. I think so, it's line, it's called like line motor or stuff like this. And we measure here. Uh, you can see something and um, how we measure we measure with the oscilloscope we measure with the oscilloscope and it's um, Here and here. Okay. That's good. We switch off, switch on. Aha. Uh -huh. Doesn't doing something. Yeah.
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very funny. <laughs> that means we must go, we scale the, the voltage to towards, huh? And go up a little bit. Okay, so we measure again. Start. The motor don't move from the head. You see? <laughs> it doesn't move. It's at the initialization and it doesn't move. You will go to press to print. Or oh, doing uh, now open close for short time. Open close. Okay. Uh, came nothing, huh? Oh, yeah, it start up came a little bit. Uh, and uh, the thing is that the channel we must switch to five volts. Okay, now we can do it again. But what is this? Look here, I make now a stop. What is this? It switched not to the low and to the high, it switched like this and then the up. Maybe this I see the amplifier is not more working anymore. And we must have a watch under BA5937. And so maybe I have one here. And now we would like to uh, build out this IC. And uh, the first what I got is this aluminum foil uh, for the thermal shader for the rest of the electronics. You put it here and we cut out this and we're making a print of it. Now we see the print, it's here, here and here and here. And then we fold it uh, at the half. You never see this before. We fold it at the half and we cut out more than one millimeter around this and here, around this. And uh, here we cut straight. That means uh, we have the IC. Look, we have a shadow mask and that this doesn't fly away, we fix it by this double glue tape and uh, put that here. Look, why are we gonna do this? Uh, for securing the other positions on it. Mr. Caesars, thank you for your cooperation. The hot air, we should have a 411 degrees and um, now we would like to going around. Going around and going around. You can see it. I go counterclockwise around the IC and have this. <laughs> okay. There you can see that what we have here, we have here a spare part, you can see it's the same and uh, starting on the 
soldering iron and I solder with 410 degrees. In what case? In that case. Okay. And now we must uh, have a watch here. Uh, we must put that away and this double glue band too. You see? We hope so that then the spin motor will drive again and um, the first what we're gonna do is we bring on this uh, soldering iron uh, solder and clean it first and then we are uh, cutting this off and soldering it here Disorder it, disorder this, and that in the middle. <laughs> we need that. Super. Okay. And then we get the new IC. Aha, uh -huh. there is something with this metal thing here. I hope so, it's the same I see. And we put it, here is number one. We put it like here. Oh, it's banded. Hey, come on, what is this? It's banded, the pins are banded. I'm angry, hey, come on, bands. Pins are stupid bandits. How can that be from the transportation? I don't understand this. How can I bend it back? I hope so now. <laughs> it's worse, man. Also, these are bended here. Cannot be. Now we would like to search the correct position and we have a check. Five nine three seven. Five nine three seven, okay, FB. It's the same it's the same I see. And yes. <laughs> and here, here, we saw the odd means at the same time. <laughs> but is that intelligent? Or should we unsolder it again? It's better be cutting here. Okay, 
this is unsol it's soldered and unsoldered. What's next? We do that. <laughs> it's so fiddling. I must fiddle around. <laughs> I'm Now I have here the, the CD player, I must uh, uh, connect it to the, to the connections, or I build it in and, be, and make then the connections, so I build it in, look, you can see that here, we have here a big, uh -huh, okay, it's good. And uh, I connect it on the, on the mains and here on the power supply we have here the power supply and we connect this here. Super. So, and now we hope so. Can it spin up or not? Yeah, the, uh, the problem was the head transportation. I think so, the head doesn't work. Oh, <laughs> it goes left and right. Okay, okay, okay. Where is my CD? I don't know. Here it is. I have it here in the background and uh, putting it in. No disc, why? Why the head not here? Oh, I take the beepsy and my beepsy is working. The slit motor operate, don't operate. This is this motor, what the head drive from the inside to the outside. Doesn't work. Maybe the cable is interrupted or whatever. Uh, <laughs> I have a problem to find out where is the minus. This is one cable, okay. Okay, nothing else. And the first two one pins are the cable. We need to measure from here to here. Okay, it works. And the second also works. But the motor have 99 ohms. Huh? For motor. 116 ohms. This is a little bit look. Look at this. It jumps around. 116 ohms motor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh. I don't think so. I think that it, uh, it sounds it's interrupted, huh? It looks like it's interrupted. Mm, how we can do this? We insert uh, two volts or so. Huh? Is that good? Good. Did you can see is this working or not? I have here now two volts and we bring the slit in the middle. Yeah. And Okay, it works. Is it, does it work or not? Aha. Uh -huh. This is interesting. Two words is too less. We go to two and a half words. Mm. Don't would like to ruinate the the thing. Mm -hmm. The 
for the motor doesn't work. Mm -hmm. In one position not working. Sometimes it works. So it works, but in the other direction no. Also, now it's working. Maybe it needs a kickstart. <laughs> and if we put it here, the signal here, I mean signal is good. I mean the voltage here, put it in the middle and Okay, it moves. Okay, that means the connection from here to the motor is okay. Hmm. So, that we know now, uh, that means I cannot measure it in case of that, that the problem is so. Um, you have the, the thing in this, in this situation, we have the, uh, the motor is not running, but why? <laughs> First it was the amplifier that not spinning and now the slit motor not running. What does that mean? Hmm. We build it all together. Uh, that means we must fiddle in this and fiddle in that. <laughs> Very funny and this. <laughs> and then we snap it in. Snap. Uh, snap. What is with snap? Schnapp, schnapp, so schnapp, 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 okay. And now we must uh, build it in, in case of that, that we, I don't have so fingers like this, what they have in, the, in this automated company. Maybe do you have a special fingers? You can build in this. Uh huh. okay. Closing the connector, same here. Okay, good. And here. Be careful. <laughs> These cables are not uh, not for out and in and out and in. <laughs> it's more for one. One time installing and connecting, then it works perfect, but here we have the, the issue that is not so. We build it in, and if it doesn't work, I can make nothing in case of that, that the controller is maybe not so good working or whatever. We can also can make uh, with, uh, with the heat air, the hot air, that we connect it. But now, and look what I get, a second device of this machine from Sony. And now we would like to check up, is that possible what we have here? Oh, my cable. Where is my cable gone? Uh, ah. Think so, I found it. Look, here's the cable. And um, on this machine, um, the the right side is working and I hope so I can play with it and now we insert the disc and making a test if this is correct I must rebuild the laser in case of that it should be the new laser from the first machine what I get and uh, now we have a look Sony start <laughs> no disc. What's this? Okay, um, we would like to insert a, a CD and closing the deck. TUC is reading. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Making some noise. Oh, it works. Uh -huh. Good. Play. Oh! That sounds good. Yeah. And 
That means we can build the track out, the tray out. We build the drive out and build it to the other machine and making from two machines one machine. <laughs> it's better than no machine. And um, yeah, this is my job now. What we're gonna do, in case of that I don't find the failure. Uh, these drives are very, I mean, you cannot repair it. I don't know why. You cannot change, you can change everything on it, but uh, it doesn't work. So. <laughs> You can change all ICs and the drive and all, but doesn't doesn't work, and I don't know why. I mean, maybe you need a Sony license or so <laughs> for repairing this machine. <laughs> but it's a super tech. I like it. It's big, but uh, it's it's super. You have a recorder and you have a. CD player, you have optical out and optical in and all the functions. Oh my gosh, it's here. The, the connectors are very new, so I know. Hmm. Look, these connectors are so, so small. They are so new. We must... Uh, and now... Flip it over. Open it. It was not so smart. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's better you turn it normal. In case of that, you must turn it back to open it. And so, also we must open on the back side. Oh, there's only one screw. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. But what shall I do? The drive don't want to work. You can do, you can change all ICs on it and it does work. But we don't know why. Why is this so? Sometimes I think the built-in a thing that doesn't work also. Hmm. Look, wonderful. But I don't know why they make a big a big box like this. I mean, is that necessary? Uh, <laughs> is it necessary to make it so big? Maybe it is. So what we're gonna do is we open this this part and We must change the laser from the other machine to this machine and then no machine is working anymore. <laughs> maybe they have a maybe they have a interconnection in between the, the deck. That means uh, you must you must know uh, which drive to which software or firmware compatibility could also be, but I don't know, I don't think so that they do this, but uh, <laughs> it can be. You can make it. If you want to make this in this way, you can make this. So I'm uh, uh today I'm tired. I think. Oh. What is this? Making whoop. I think somebody would like to see me to work. Oh, we have the we have the issue that we need to go out with the drive and like this. What does that? Uh, huh? What is this? Must open it and take this away. Ah! How oh, that is working. Uh, so now look <laughs> the special tool closing the door and disconnecting uh, it here and here it was here look this is the working but I so I should change the laser for this too and we change it (laughs) 
Uh, I put here a W on it. It means working. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> it's only a light if you have two machines that you not interchange it and have the issue that you don't know what it was or so. You have the other machine. Now we must change from here, this laser from here to here. You see this laser is standing in this position. Now but the thing is that we don't know why it is so. Okay. I I changed this. It is five nine three seven. Ah, it's not that I see that I need. Hmm. Yeah. It's it's complicated. We must build out the laser. That cost me nerves, this this drive. You cannot believe. And here we flip out this. So, okay. Schnappies are gone. Okay, and here uh, the drive, this drive. That cost me energy, really. What is here now? What is happened here, huh? Why it is so hard to pull out? So. Look, I changed this chip that I thought uh, that the track drive doesn't moving away and um, the slider is only in the most position, but yeah. Yeah, and here we go, we must build out this. Uh, okay, <laughs> uh, there is something. Boxed. I should not interchange the screws. Now my camera is off in a few minutes because it's overheated all the time. Uh, I think I must buy a new camera because uh, that goes on my nerves. And this board is okay, but I don't need to change it. Uh -huh. Uh-huh, so this laser should become here and I say okay. I must build that out. Have a small screwdriver here. Oh look. And here we have tiny tiny screws. Oh dear strong. Hey, come on! Why is so cr Why is so strong? They are so strong. No, this is the wrong screwdriver. I need the other one, a bigger one. Look this. I hope so. No, can you cannot open it? This is gone. Yeah, it's working. The other don't. <laughs> Look at these tiny, tiny screws. Why are you making so tiny screws, huh? Tell me that. They go on my nerves. <laughs> Look. You're making so little screws. You cannot believe. Yeah, but this is only a... Uh-huh. There is a other, a other trick. We must... Open these screws up here. <laughs> so I can 
move this, but it's dangerous. Look here. In case of this, don't don't touch it too hard. Uh, and now we can use this maybe out. Or we should deinstall this now. I mean, hmm. Zack. It's machine mounted, I think. This hardness you can do only with the machine, not by hand. Nobody do this by hand. Aha! Uh -huh. We have it now. Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> we must deinstall all this stuff. No, come on, no way. Ah, it's hard to be. It's hard. It's really hard. <laughs> Must have this here. So you can see it better what's happened here. With this thread I cannot go here because I'm standing here. Aha, uh -huh. that means we must open these screws and fiddling around with this. Oh, we interchange this block. No, it doesn't work. It's not good. And on the other side, it's also impossible to pull that out. Mm -hmm. This is a very nice mechanism. He said he changed the laser, but how you can change the laser? <laughs> what I found out now, I don't need, it's not need to interchange the laser in case of what? In case of that, that I only change the electronic. <laughs> it's simple. Uh, I built that back. I built it back. It's simple. I build it back and then um, <laughs> look, I build it back. <laughs> oh, fun. It's only need to interchange the electronic in case of that the drive is the same. And um, so, yeah. <laughs> it's not need to it's not need to change this this part. No. You don't need that. If you have two drives, you don't need to interchange the laser if you have a new one. It's not need. In case of that that you can change the electronic. <laughs> you understand? It's very it's very simple. <laughs> and um so we say only this is number two and this is number one. And we change the electronic two to number one. And then it must work. And if it doesn't work, we need, we know there is something wrong. Okay, so this drive is working. This drive is working, but they don't want to have the laser from here. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. And here we bring that back in position. <laughs> uh, yeah. This is from number two, the working machine. Right here too on it. Okay. And the laser is from number one. Uh-huh. We need here the cable. Okay. And here we also need the cable. Where is my cable? Oh. Here it is. So, good. It's good to go, and we are um, 
going in here first what we're gonna do is simple we bring that in and close it snap we do the same here and maybe only the cables are wrong <laughs> could be <gasps> I forgot to insert this connector can I yes I can yes we can but so okay good looks good and here you must also insert this to here don't forget any cables <laughs> so it doesn't work and I think should we test it first or should we close the back door huh? also interest and this is number two or this is number one no no this is number two this is number two you write on it number two this is now the the drive the second drive and change electronic so I would like to start it and nothing it's on the drive maybe the motors are defect or whatever <laughs> ah it's on the sleet motor and on the drive ah, what shall I say I change it back to the other that is working microphone over the speakers yes that was the Sony recorder and player in one machine and I found out that I found out nothing <laughs> it's so hard to find a failure in this machine I don't know why the mechanic not working I mean I interchanged the hardware you hear the hardware is now playing <laughs> and it's not on the hardware on the electronic it's on the hardware on the mechanic and maybe on the laser or I don't know on what it can be it's for me a not understandable thing <laughs> but now it works I make with from two machines one machine and you can interchange the parts it's no serialized or no hacky <laughs> okay if you like my channel please subscribe and I say thank you for watching mm -hmm.